Hello and welcome, Dr. Andy Rosenfarb here. AccuVision Acupuncture. Today we're going to talk about a really important subject, oxygen and your eyes. That's right, your eyes need to breathe. If they don't breathe, cells are going to die, just like you, right? Can't go more than three minutes-ish without oxygen or we cease to exist. Why? Why is this important? We are oxygen-loving animals, mammals, humans. We need to breathe oxygen. We do this every day. <sighs> breathe oxygen in, exhale carbon dioxide. So every cell of our body has to breathe as well. This is called cellular respiration, right? Cellular respiration is how the cells of our body actually breathe. Each cell, that's right, breathes in oxygen and exhales carbon dioxide. In order to do that, the cells need to receive oxygen through the blood. That is, the oxygen is carried on the red blood cells. So if there's impaired oxygenation of the tissue or systemically, we're going to have some problems. Basically, we're meaning if the cells don't get the oxygen, they're going to suffocate and die. So how can we prevent that? Glad you asked. We talk about oxygen deprivation can be local, right? Local to the eye tissue or the whole visual system, the brain, the eyes, and the optic nerve, of course. And, or it could be systemic, where we could have systemic hypoxia, hypoxia, too low oxygen, all right? Hypoxia is a term that we use often to describe too low oxygen. And again, that could be full body or just local to the tissue of the visual system, the eyes, the retina, the optic nerve, the macula, the brain, so on and so forth. So what causes hypoxia? There are various factors, again, so we can have local hypoxia where the blood flow to the retina, to the optic nerve, and to the brain is impaired because the blood vessels or the vasculature is not healthy. The blood vessels are clogged. Maybe they're broken and they're brittle or they're swollen and we can't get a lot of blood flow to the eyes. So that can be a local issue, right? The circulation to the eyes is, is impaired because of the blood vessels or the vasculature. We can also have systemic hypoxia, meaning our bodies are low in oxygen for various reasons, okay? We can have something called anemia, where the blood volume, the red blood cells are too low, which impacts the oxygen carrying capacity. It means the body can't transport oxygen if there's not enough blood cells that carry the oxygen to the cells. There can be respiratory issues like emphysema, asthma, chronic shortness of breath, maybe things like sleep apnea, where you stop breathing at night. Okay, these are gonna cause situations of hypoxia. You can have uh, maybe you have a slow pulse rate, or maybe you're taking antihypertensive medications. You're taking blood pressure meds that are keeping your heart rate from its powerful constriction. So it's called a pulse pressure. So maybe that's the issue. Maybe there is, again, we talked about systemic anemia, meaning the, the number of cells aren't there, uh, either from things like childbirth or not eating enough or bleeding disorders. Uh, or heavy periods for women. These are all things that can cause either a lack of manufacturing of blood, <coughs> excuse me, or uh, a loss, too much blood loss. Um, also things like carbon monoxide poisoning or sedentary lifestyle, maybe just not exercising and moving your body enough to exercise or saturate your body tissue with oxygen so the cells can't respirate and breathe the way they need to. Also, high altitude can be a factor. If you live at high altitude or you've recently moved or you're traveling to high altitudes, this can be an issue for you as well. So all of our treatments that we do in our clinic, including the supplements we recommend, will help improve oxygen delivery to the visual system, the eyes, the retinas, the macula, the optic nerve, and the brain. Specific supplements that we use are NeuroVision, Omega-3 DHA, our LipoVision DHA product, Canavision helps reduce the swelling to improve blood flow. 
the H2 vision, our molecular hydrogen, can really help as well. Relieving oxidative stress can help improve uh, circulation as well, as can uh, supplements like ginkgo biloba can be really good for circulation. Uh, acupuncture, electroacupuncture, uh, microacupuncture, 48, which is a system we use, scalp acupuncture, alternating current stimulation, microcurrent, hyperbaric oxygen therapy, all these therapies and along with the nutrition and supplements that we just recommended can also be very, very helpful to improve oxygen levels to your, to your retina, right? Improve the oxygen, your cells can breathe, they can respirate, they will survive and they will recover and regenerate. But we have to get the oxygen to your eyes. If you wanna learn more about this, feel free to reach out to me uh, or post inside this group if you're seeing this, this, uh, this video in one of our, our social media groups or feel free to reach out to me or a clinic and ask questions to find out more about uh, the role of oxygenation and how we might be able to help you with your vision, uh, whether it's you uh, or a loved one or a family or a friend who's dealing with this type of issue. Re feel free to reach out to us. Again, this is Dr. Andy Rosenfarb talking about oxygen and your vision. With AccuVision Acupuncture, for your vision is our mission. Talk to you soon. Bye.